The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says the voter registration exercise will resume next Wednesday ahead of elections coming up in two years. It says it will kickstart nationwide continuous voters registration to allow eligible voters to register ahead of the 2023 poll. INEC Resident Electoral Commissioner in Kwara State, Garba Atahirud Madami, told News Agency of Nigeria on Tuesday in Ilori that those eligible to register as voters include Nigerians who are 18 years old and have not been registered before, voters whose permanent voters' cards were damaged, and registered voters who wish to transfer their voting units to other locations. He added that voters who had their names wrongly spelled would be eligible as well to register to correct the error. Atahiru Madami said the registration exercise will close at the end of third quarter next year. The resident electoral commissioner also said INEC is considering action to expand polling points to polling units to make them accessible to the people and to address voter apathy by making polling units accessible to voters. The government in charge has been dissolved following the killing of long-term President Idris Deby while he visited troops who were battling rebels on the battlefield. The military says elections will be held in 18 months and named the late President's 37-year-old son, four-star General Muhammad Kaka, as interim president. Critics have condemned the move as unconstitutional. They say the constitution empowers the Speaker of Parliament to take over when a sitting president dies before organizing elections. Experts say the army, by its move to install Debbie's son as interim president, has violated Chad's constitution. Idris Deby, who was in power for 30 years, died on Tuesday from injuries sustained while commanding his army in fighting against the rebels in the north over the weekend. Army spokesman General Azem Bamandu Haguna said in a statement read on TV that uh, Debbie died while defending Chad's territorial integrity on the battlefield. He was re-elected on Monday for his six-year term, six term with 79% of the votes. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Egypt's top railway official has been fired over repeated train deadly crashes. The transportation minister said he sacked Ashurv Raslan, head of the railway authority, on Tuesday following three train accidents in under a month that left at least 29 persons killed and at least 320 injured. Transportation Minister Kamal El Wazir said in a statement, Raslan, who headed the railway authority since July 2018, has been replaced with Mustafa Abuel. The termination was part of a wide-ranging overhaul of the railway system's leadership amid public outcry. The changes also extended to the main department of the railway authority that manages the country's train traffic. The overhaul was designed to inject a number of competent professionals amid efforts to upgrade the poorly maintained network. That is ANN News Brief at 4. Join us again at 5 for our full newscast. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, ANN africa.news conversation continues on our social media platforms twitter instagram and facebook at ann africa tv i am lucy adeyemi